Before I play this call from Chile from the Clark County Detention Center, I just want to say over the years, Chile has done a tremendous amount for the community. If somebody needed help, he did a live stream, he did a donation drive, he did a fundraiser for them, and he raised a lot of money for a lot of people and helped out a lot. So I think it's time that we turn around and help Chile out. The long and the short of it is this. This judge right here, Ann Zimmerman, put Chile in jail for 180 days. He committed no crime, left no victim, broke no law. The cop lied on the stand, and yet she still, without any evidence that he had committed any wrongdoing, put him in jail for 180 days. That's why he's in the Clark County Detention Facility. There is a GoFundMe that Chile set up about a week ago so that we could all pitch in and help other activists who get in trouble. And I say we use this fund right now for him. I'll leave this link in the description and in the pinned comment. If it does disappear from the pinned comment, which it often does, just check out the description. If we all pitch in something, we can get him a better lawyer. Here's the call from Chile. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. Hello? Hey, Brian. Hey, hey, hey uh, I thought you were going to call back yesterday. Uh, there's a lot of rules and regulations here and things that happen here. And they don't let you, uh, we went into lockdown and I had to go to my bunk. I've been on my bunk for like 20 hours straight. Oh, jeez. You're confined to your bed. You can't get off. You get off your bed. You got to stay on your bed for 20 hours? Yeah, lockdown means that you, you can't leave your bed. There's eight guys right now on 20 hour lockdown on their bed. You can't leave. You need to go to the bathroom. Holy you cow. Get their, you can get up to get their food, and then they can go back to their bed. Well, how are they treating you besides being on lockdown and on your bed for 20 hours? Are you eating okay, drinking water? Yeah, I'm recording right now. What do you want the audience to know? You're you're live. Go ahead. I'm gonna be okay. It's hard for help, but uh, I need help. My uh, my my business is predicated on me going live for a couple hours every day. And so a year ago, I set up a GoFundMe. It's on my community tab. You can find it, Brian. And uh, the appellate attorney is uh, 25 grand. I feel like I, I, I'm, I'm trying to guess what the audience might ask you if they had a chance. So I'm going to try to step into that role. But what would you have done in your trial? What would you have done different? What, what mistakes do you feel like you made that the attorney made? And what would you have done different? Thank you. 
take us through that. What what began that little confrontation with the bailiff? They had heard all the other cases, and I was the only one left. It was me and just a couple, couple people in the back who were supporters that came, and one troll sitting in the back. And uh, the bailiff walked up to me and stood over the top of me. I was on a bench all alone. I had my leg up on the bench. He said, take your leg down on the bench. I was going to say, why? But now he said, court. I said, the dude, don't give me directives. There's nobody else on the bench but me. I said, take your leg down now. I said, no, I'm not going to do it. Is there a code or statute or rule or law that I take my leg down? And he said, I'm going to call my sergeant over here. And he called over the other woman. She said, take your leg down. And I said, no. The police were just directing me around, demanding me around. And then, and then they went through this, um, and then the cop was the, then the rest of it just was, as you would think, back and forth between the two bailiffs. Then the bailiffs went to the back, and they told the judge, who had been married to a cop, Las Vegas Metro cop, exactly what had happened. And when she came out, she was just ice. And then she said, I'm going to have you searched. And that triggered me again. I was like, what are you, you're searching? Because I didn't have any recording devices on. Um, you know, I know I've told people to wear recording devices, but she must have watched my video knowing that I said that. That's how she formed with bias. And then, and then uh, I was triggered again. And then the prosecution put on their case. And then when I said, Michael, show my video and let's go over it, he said, no, I didn't put in evidence. I was triggered again. And those three triggers for me. Just just real quick, because it, w- it wasn't clear. You said that your attorney did not put your video into evidence? That's right. That's right. I was just, I was so angry. My face flushed. I could feel the blood pressure in my head just palpitating, you know? And uh, I just was so mad. I was so, just, God, I was, you couldn't imagine how mad I was when, when my, my evidence wasn't in, in there. And he said, she already saw it. And I said, but that's not, you have to break it down. You go point, counterpoint, point, counterpoint, legal theory. And and I, I just had lost my composure three triggers in a row. And I just got up there and I just effed it up. I just totally screwed it up. On the stand, I did a terrible job. And you have to go in and you have to show deference. And you, you have to be polite. You have to be cordial to everybody because they're all one big unit. Those bailiffs work for her day in and day out. And she's them as her protectors and when i barked at them like a dog they went back and said this guy's a piece of shit. and then the guards in here can't believe them in jail they're, they're like no way and and it, it's so strange the guards know who i am but they do they all know who i am so uh, have you talked with your attorney about the statement that the prosecution made when she said judge we wouldn't be here today if he just followed the directives i would venture to say that had the defendant just complied with the original order to not engage with the driver and to back up we wouldn't be here and why your attorney didn't just go point by point and prove in the video that you followed both the directive to not talk to the driver and the directive to step back because you you fulfilled both directives now did you fulfill his expectation of that last directive on how far to step back he didn't even qualify how far he didn't give me a feed amount i had no idea right in my mind in my mind so i I quoted rodriguez versus united states rodriguez versus united states says that you cannot extend the stop for the driver or any other person unless there's reasonable articulable suspicion. Now, if my video had been played, I would have heard myself say that, and I would have gone into my legal theory. Look, I already identified myself as a member of the press. I already told them I'm a constitutional law scholar, I'm a member of the press, I'm recording them. And so then I would have been able, went right back into what I was always thinking, I'm gonna go point by point on my video. But then when my video wasn't presented, I lost my way. I had no trail to follow down. And I was so mad at the bailiffs. I was so mad at the cops who were accosting me in the courtroom. I mean, literally accosting me, standing over me when I was on the uh, gallery. And then when they walked up and took my phones from me and literally put their hands in my pocket, jerked my pockets out, turned them inside out. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like, this is a Fourth Amendment violation. When you get accosted, you lose yourself. And I, I'm no, I'm, I'm just human. I, 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 I screwed it up, you know? I should have done it better. And I'll tell you, in the future, I definitely will. And I, I don't want to throw Michael Me under the bus. He's not a bad human being, but didn't really prepare properly for even their evidence, you know, on, on their video, where it shows that I stepped back, because I had seen that, and in my mind, he was going to go over, look, he's there, and now he's there. I, I watched the video a hundred times. I thought, I had the evidence, I went over the videos, and I thought for sure he would show. He was here, and now he's here. Yeah. But he didn't. He didn't do it. And... And I can't be my own lawyer. We 
we actually applied three days before the trial that he would be a standby attorney so I could speak for myself. And she denied the motion. Because if I had spoken for myself, I would have gone over that point by point because I'd already broken it down at home. And uh, I just, I just, I'm human. So and what, what, from this point, what can my audience and your audience and other audiences do to help you out? What do you, what do you need primarily? I need money. I'm so sorry. I hate to say that. My business, my trifold and cop card business is really predicated on me going live for two or three hours a day and breaking down people getting pulled over and showing how it failed. That's what my business is predicated on. And my business went from a successful business to a business that a minimum wage worker might make every day. And so uh, a year ago, I put together a GoFundMe. And I said, if anything happens to me, Chuck, uh, please release GoFundMe. My appeals attorney is a really top-notch appellate attorney here in Las Vegas. He is one of the top attorneys in all of Nevada. So, I mean, it's expensive. It's 25000 bucks. So, but I can't stay here can't stay in this place. I don't belong here. How long do you think you'll be in? Do you think you'll be in there for the full 180? No, I won't be. I'll be out of here in less than a month. As soon as we get the, uh, as soon as we get the, the appeals hearing, I think I'm going to get out because the judge was so biased, married to a cop, had watched my videos, um, searched me illegally, violating my Fourth Amendment right. Um, and then she was just biased from the beginning. She was totally biased. Completely biased. I don't need a lot, you know. I, I just need people to, to donate what they can so I can get out of here. Well, how about your how about your commissary? Do you need anything in your commissary right now? Or are you taking care of on that? I have a commissary. My inmate number is one six six nine five six one, and uh, it's Jose De Castro nine eleven seventy four. Any amount of money from my commissary, I'll get when I get out. Um, and you know, it's so funny. I didn't think I had. <sighs> I didn't think I had very many friends. And uh, I was wrong. I have a, I got a list here of people, of, you know, dozens, dozens of people. Is Charlie taken care of? Yeah, yeah. Charlie's, Charlie's, he's safe. He's, he's, he's safe. He's in a fence yard. It's one of my family members, and okay, he's got it. He's got everything. He's got another dog to play with. Okay. And, uh, they got him right away. They got Charlie right away. They had Charlie with three hours of my arrest. Had him. He was um, at my place, and uh, they went over and grabbed him right away and got his pillow and got his chew toys and got everything for him. And he's uh, he's doing okay. He's just waiting for me. Okay. I, I think I'm out of here on appeal, but I just need to raise money to get out. You know, no matter what, I'm going to come. You have one minute left. If it, if it hangs up, if it hangs up, I'll call you back. I'm not locked down for another two hours. I can call you back, Brian. i got to call two people, and I'll call you back. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. You know, there's another way we can help too. If you can't afford to give through the GoFundMe, we can always go over to Chili's channel and binge watch some of his videos. That'll keep his ad revenue up. What I would suggest is maybe go to some of his popular videos and start at the top. And not only will you be entertained, but you'll also receive an education on how to handle police, case law, and all that. But I really think that we need to come through for Chili since he's come through for so many so often i appreciate you watching this video please share this video and if you can afford it pitch in if you can't we can do it for free by binge watching videos liking those videos and sharing those videos out thank you guys i appreciate you watching